Jolly good morning to everybody. Jolly good morning. We're in our <laughs> third day on campsite. It's been a lovely relaxing rest, hasn't oh, it, it has. Mazzy? Really yes. has. Much needed. Uh, right, we've got the parcel ready to send to um, Danny. Danny Deschrivers, mummy. So we're going to go <laughs> post that off now. Yeah. Um, Danny sent us some money to say, go get yourselves a meal. Yeah. So I'm taking Mazzy out for a meal. Thanks, bye. Thank Danny, not me. Thank you, Danny. Didn't we have that meal the other day? Because we already thanked Danny. No, we had a takeaway, didn't we? But that wasn't Danny. No, when we went for a restaurant. But anyway, thanks, Danny. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We're off for a meal anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weather isn't great, so we're just going to pop in there. Yeah. Do that, that's it. We're going to be a bit derelict now for the next... Derelict isn't the word. You keep saying what? derelict. Remote. We're going to remote. some remote places. Well, it's derelict, isn't it? There's nothing around. Well, derelict is when a building's not been occupied for a long time. Yeah. It's very different. Okay. <laughs> um, a lot of people will be wanting to know what happened with the McDonald's. I will be updating you later on in this video, so stay tuned for that one. There has been communication with Ronald himself. Really? Yes. You ain't told me this? Yes. Wow. Am I happy with the outcome? Stay tuned. <laughs> right, let's go, Mazzy. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> first things first, your favourite job. What's that then? Emptying the toilet. No. Well, we've got to find it first. For you. Eh? We've actually had um, quite a few subscribers come up to us here, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a couple. Very nice men. Yeah. Yeah, don't mind saying hello to people now and again. Just give you a quick uh, look at the campsite as we're driving through. Yeah, it's very nice, this one. I like it. It's actually quite big, isn't it? I was surprised at how big. Yeah. Been lost driving around a few times, even with a map. Yeah. I do like it. Hey. So here we are. Yeah. Tilly's. Looks nice. Huh? Opposite the information centre. That's where we parked the other night behind there, and we parked there again. Yeah. Cup of coffee. I can't piss. I don't know what to get today. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to go straight for the mixed grill. I was fancying sausage and mash. And we've got yeah, we've just bought the ingredients to, to make do it, it one day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was tempted by the haggis, neeps, and tatties, and the Balmoral chicken. That's that's why I had last time, Mazzy. You know the chicken oh, breast yeah. with the haggis. Yeah, because I had the slow cook. Shank, didn't I? But it wasn't. Yes. Was it the same company then? No, no. No. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So what are you having? You don't know. No. Well, the longer you take, the longer I have to wait for my mixed grill. Ordered. Mixed grill for me. And Mazzy wanted that, but they haven't got it. So she's going for southern fried chicken with triple cooked chips. You're not going to manage. Even I can't manage that. Oh. I didn't realise, Mazzy. I've just pointed it out for you, haven't I? I? You know, I can manage a rump steak, a gammon, chicken breast, couple of sausage, chicken wings, black pudding fried <laughs> uh, egg and peas. But I didn't, re I didn't see it top bit. Comes with chunky chips, onion rings, buttered mushrooms and tomato. I didn't read all that top. I'll see what I can do, yeah? That is right. Am I reading that right? Well, you yeah, managed yeah. the ice cream. Let's be fair. You're oh, I might get one of them for afters. <laughs> it's here. Yeah, looks good. Wrap, chicken wrap. And luckily, mine isn't as massive as I was getting a bit worried about. Yeah. Very nice. Are you going to rip that tomato off my plate, Mazzy? Probably. Is that steak? That steak, that's going to be lovely, yeah. yeah. And that chicken wing looks special as well. Thank you. Thank nice. you very much. I've done well, haven't I? Well, I have. I've got half a wrap left. I'm going to take it home. I think you're getting a little bit embarrassed because I was wrapping it up, aren't you? No? Oh, you don't mind? No. Let's see how you're getting on. You've done well. I've had enough, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, it's nice though, very nice, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Danny the Shriver. Yeah, thank you, Danny. That was a nice treat. Why are you piling it all up like that? <laughs> I've only left a couple of chips now. This is what he does, he tries and hides his leftovers. All you're doing is, oh my goodness. Oh, I left a couple of chips. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> right, off to get me some boots, Mazzy. Some new shoes. New shoes. Not going over £45. That's the agreement. Um, it's nothing to do with me. We're going into that uh, shop we were in the other day because I don't think we'll... Well, we're not, we're not going to see another shop to buy boots. No, probably um, not. Be lucky to find a shop to get a loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> and they were reasonably priced, weren't they? Oh, you agree! You actually agree! Let's just go get me some boots. Okay, we're in J... No, was it? JB Sports? JD Sports. Oh, I don't know. Sports Direct. So these are the ones he saw the other day. I can't imagine you getting on with them. I can. They're too high. I think you'll complain. I know what you're off. like. Well, it doesn't make. matter. I'm talking about... The inside. Yeah, but I'm... No, I'm talking about the height of them will make you cranky. I know what you're like. Right, we'll try them on then. Oh, I need my size, don't I? Yeah. We're only forty pounds reduced from eighty. Yeah, that's all right. Right, the chap's got to go and get your size to try on. He's gone to have a look. Yeah, I just want to show what I liked the other day. Personally, I like Dunlops. The brown colour's nice, and it's a good price. Yeah, but the Dunlop. Yeah, but they're not, they're good shoes. They would have if been. You went to school with Dunlop on. Everyone laughed. Oh, at you're you. such a snob. I hope right. you put clean socks on. It's going to take me a while, <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling in them? Yeah, fine. Yeah? I might struggle with driving for a while, but... The height of them on your ankles like that? Yeah, that's Yeah? Yeah, spot on, yeah. I have them. Boots. A happy man and a happy girlfriend. And we just walked down here, were you? Was it yesterday or the day before? The day before, possibly, yeah. Um, when we were here, there are only like one stall here, but now there's loads of different stalls and they're all selling foods from around yeah. the world. You've got Thai, German, Greek, anything Slabs you could want. Of fudge. The German one looks the best, I quite fa I fancied the Greek, but well, it's just too early for anything like that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's only, what, 11 o'clock or something, isn't it? <laughs> We noticed this fence on the way in. Check it out, these big wooden posts, which are, what, 15 foot tall? Going all the way along. It must have cost them a fortune. Expensive fence, isn't it? It is. Right down there. Why don't I just go for corrugated iron or something? That's very, very expensive. Wire. <laughs> the thing is, you've got a natural fence behind it. There's all trees planted behind them. Anyway, each to their own if that's what they want to spend the money on. Let's have a look then. Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, look at you. And they're all fur lined and cosy. Are you cosy? Oh yes. So I'm going to yeah. try these out in Luss. We're in Luss. Yeah. Luss. L-U-S-S. -S. I've got a story about Luss. I'll tell you in a minute. Are you ready? Weather's a bit on and off, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the sun is shining, but it's it's rainy. We're actually parked. It, I don't think this is a proper car. It's, this is a fairy trail car park. But it's a pound an hour. This is caravan parking area. So we should be all right. It's very black over there, Mazzy. Come and show them. Oh, it's, I've never seen such black clouds. Look at that. So that's where we're parked. We are definitely not going in. Don't get excited, Mazik. We ain't going in to do that today. It's a kiddie thing. It's a kiddie thing. We're going into I Luss. would enjoy it. Excuse me. There's not a certain age to enjoy life, you know. I'm 41 and I enjoy life. <laughs> Lock Lomans, they're getting involved with Halloween. The encounter. I want to know which way it is. Well, we're going this way, Mazzy, because this Are is we? the way Luss is, yeah. 
towards the black cloud. The black cloud. I've never seen such a black cloud. <laughs> it's probably not coming up on this picture, but it seems to be heading this way and it looks really, really bad. So you've got a lovely little B&B B &B there. Beautiful looking pub restaurant there. Little the village things. rest. Yeah. We still don't really know what's here, do we? I don't think there's anything here. I looked on Google and Lust just looked like a bit of nothing, really. Yeah. But there's a lot of people parked here, so yeah. <laughs> must be something to do with something in Lust. So we have an information board. Take the high road, Mazzy. Can you remember that? Take the high road? Mm. Remember what? Can you take the high road? No, it's an old TV show. Soap oh, opera. Oh, no, I don't know. Back in the 80s. Started in 1980, yeah, we're well, right. Yeah. Oh, the year I was born, hadn't you? Yeah, you were born. Yeah. So, Take the High Road was filmed here. Yeah? <laughs> and apparently, the village was created for the people who worked at the, ma the quarry. Right. And it's being said it is the most beautiful village in Scotland. Mm. That's what it's claiming. Well, it's starting off all right. It's starting off all right until that black cloud comes any closer. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting really, really worrying now. I've never seen these, Mazzy. You said you've had one. Yeah, it's like I a little had like a little doll's house. This is like a shop. Flower shop. I started it. I never finished it. <laughs> I've seen all like that. This is more my thing. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's definitely more my thing. That's like a marble thing. Mm. Oh. Chuck Lomond. Lock Lomond whiskey, Mazzy. Yeah. I don't know. Whiskey, it's something I should be trying on this trip. I just don't like whiskey. There's no point in trying it. <laughs> Scottish shortbread. I'm in my element here, Mazzy. Yeah. Scotland, Loch Lomond, the Extra Mile, Hard Nish and Novel Ebrides. Story of St Kilda. Oh, I want every one of them. Every one of them. So I wouldn't really call it a general store, it was more no, of a gift shop. gift shop, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Check out this lovely tree housey thing here. You know, it's brilliant to get some gifts. All the local stuff, they had shortbread made in Helensburg just up the road, yeah. down the road. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, they had a Luss uh, book, yeah. you know, like the heritage of Luss. Yeah. Five quid. I should have got it. You should have done. Well, I should have got it yesterday and read it overnight, ready for today. Yeah. So we've come down to Loch Lomond. Beautiful rainbow. I said there'd be a rainbow somewhere, yeah, didn't I? Yeah, you could feel it, couldn't you? Check out how black it is. It's incredible. The weather's unbelievable. Sea boat tours. Speed boat. Speed boat tours. <laughs> 20 minutes for a public tour, £10. 30 minutes private tour, £70. That's not bad, is it? That's alright. Do you want to get on a speed bike? You wouldn't go on it now, would you? Not at this moment, because it looks like it's going to belt it down. What's this here? You've got cruises as well. No, no, oh, there is prices. £10 for 60 minutes circular. Island Explorer, we saw that up at the other end. It's strange because it's a lot, but it's like a proper yeah, beach no, down here. Maz has just been eating a rainbow Rainbows. Yeah. for a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this the other day, weren't we? What's that? About its size, Loch Lomond. Yeah. It tells you exactly how big here. It's the largest freshwater lake in mainland Britain. 24 miles long, 5 miles across. I can't think of a more beautiful day to come. Yeah. With these clouds like this, it is incredible, and that lovely, lovely rainbow. Just having a nosy at the garden. It is a beautiful place, but I think it's mainly because of the weather, it's making it look beautiful. I imagine on a sunny, sunny day it'd still be lovely. But to call it the, Scotland's most beautiful village, 
done, oh. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's very but... touristy. I wouldn't say that I'm particularly enjoying that part of it. I am. Are you? Yeah. I thought the gift shop, which you weren't that taken by, I thought it sold some really cool things, oh, which I've not did. seen before. But when you walk into a general store, yeah. <laughs> you know, it wasn't what I was expecting, that's all. I can't work out where this is. Rostu House, the ancestral home of Clan Cahoon. It's now a golf course, but I don't know where it is. That dog, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it. I'm going to kill that dog, Mosey. Uh, apparently the last battle between two clans was the Caloons and the McGregors, 1603. Don't know if that's here or not. You can't have the prettiest village in Scotland without having a pretty church. It is pretty, isn't it? It is very nice, yeah, yeah. very nice. Let's see if we can find anything out in here. Are you going to tell everyone what these are for again, Mazzy? You're the expert. I think it's where like, they'd leave the coffins in there. They would leave the coffins yeah. in there, yeah. It's a very nice I church. I see an interesting grave here. Yeah, there is a good grave right next to the door. We'll check that out in a minute. Yeah, it looks like it's burnt. In fact, there's a Viking hog back store, Mazzy, from 1260. We have to find that, baby. Yeah. It's certainly a pretty grave. How did they get him underneath all them, Mazzy? Well, they'll put him in and... Yeah, yes. <laughs> a rockery on top, won't they? Silly me. It, yeah. Silly me. <laughs> Not leaving here without seeing this Viking's grave because it looks fantastic. Oh, is this it? Mm, no, I don't think that were it. And here it is. A Viking hogback stone. It surprises me, really, because you've still got carvings on that. And it is so old. They reckon it might be from the battle from 1263. I don't know anything about Viking stones. Is that just another word for a gravestone, a hog stone? Don't know. Very, very nice. What history. One there with the iron bars. Stop somebody stealing it, grave robbers stealing it. It's a beautiful setting up here. You've got the loch over there, and then like a river coming off it down here. It's beautiful. So I did say I've got a story about uh, Luss. Yep. Um, in my metal detecting days, it's Luss Estate, I think. Uh, where I found a cannonball. Oh, well done. Found a cannonball. What an exciting day that was. <laughs> Luss. What did you think of Luss then? It was lovely. Just too... There's no, nothing here. I think just because it's, it's tiny, got, isn't it? Because it's got the name, it's the prettiest village in uh, Luss. In Scotland. <laughs> in Scotland, sorry. I mean, I was in pretty, pretty villages. It was nice, but, you know, I would stop. You know, if you're driving past, yeah. just pull up. But I wouldn't put three pound in the meter for three hours. Just put an hour no. in. Just wasted two pound, Mazzy. Yeah, just too many tourists. I think that's, you know, if you like that kind of thing. I'll tell you what it would be good for, though. What? To come for a meal. Yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't There's it? There's a few places which look really nice. There's a nice cafe at the bottom as well. But yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we stopped. Yeah. And remember, you've got the take the high road connection as well. It's where all the TV programme was filmed. Yeah, but I can't What a rubbish programme. No, it was rubbish. I'm, I don't think I've heard of it, let alone see it. It, it was one of them programmes, Mazzy, you know, like Crossroads, but on early. Yeah. You, you could either watch, that's all you had, you see, take the high road, or you could watch that stupid judge thing, you know, in court. Proper a court jury. thing. No, it was like a proper court telling boring stories. It was rubbish. So it was either car, court, take the high road. That were all you got to watch. And you just had to wait until Morph came on at half past four. <laughs> so we've just stopped off somewhere at the top of the loch. Loch Lomond. Uh, we're not sure if we're staying here for the night or not, are we? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we're trying to decide what's best. Um, but while we're doing that, I know a few people are wanting to know what happened with me McDonald's. Okay, as you know, my double Big Mac was missing from my order. 
I was not happy that night, was I? I was no. furious. <laughs> so I, I complained. I filled out a complaint form and they've replied. So here goes. Dear Dan. Not dear Mr. Holdsworth. Dear Dan. Not happy about that. That's a bad <laughs> start. I don't want them to be friendly. I want them to be professional, Mazzy. Thank you for contacting us. Uh, the Ballock Old Luss Road Restaurant. Blah de blah. Um, we want all our visitors to enjoy every experience. Blah de blah. Sorry to hear that your double Big Mac was missing. We really value customer feedback and have passed your comments on to the management. Um, I can understand that this incident must have spoilt your visit and I hope you will not be deterred from future visits from our restaurants. Well, I am at the moment, okay, as I was reading this. With this in mind, please accept our apologies and to make up for the experience, we will send you an email shortly with a voucher as a gesture of goodwill. Okay, let's wait and see what the voucher says. So, so you know, I were optimistic at this point. And then a voucher comes through. Dear Dan, below are the details of your uh, voucher. Five pounds off your order. When you spend five pound or more. <laughs> now that really got me. So they're not even offering me my money back. They're saying, we'll give you your money back, yeah? If you spend another fiver. I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely <laughs> disgusted. I was just going to leave it there, never go to McDonald's again and stick the voucher right up their email. Right? Just leave it at that. They got in touch with me the next day. Did they? They did. Not the same woman or anything, just McDonald's in general. Mm -hmm. uh, dear Dan, uh, we'd really like to hear what your thought was about the service you received, you know, concerning my complaint. Yeah. Um, I, I had two things to take. Good, I'm satisfied, or bad, I'm unsatisfied. I clicked bad, Mazzy. Right, that's no surprise, knowing you. <laughs> I did click bad, and I replied to them. Now, I haven't got a copy of what I wrote to them because it was in one of their comment things, yeah, but it was quite a long letter, email, basically saying uh, thank you very much for getting in touch. I started it politely, you see, because that's the kind of person I am. I says, but uh, I'll be honest with you, your offer of spent uh, a £5 voucher, which sounded fantastic to start with, was soured by telling me I have to spend another £5 to get it. Why didn't you just offer me money back? Go, no mention of me getting my money back. I says, I'm not very happy at all, no. And as a YouTuber, I have made a video complaining about this to all my uh, followers. So, what have you got to say about that? And I've given them a link to the video. Oh, God. McDonald's reply. That oh, was two no. days ago. Okay. McDonald's reply. Nothing. Nothing. They've got nothing else to say on the matter. Nothing. Is so, that what they said? No. They've just ignored my last email, Mazzy. Oh. So, McDonald's, you can stick your McDonald's up your bum. I have no interest in going back to a McDonald's as long as I live. I probably will do, because I quite like them. You never got to try the double Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I, base, I wanted my money back, and that's what I still want. I don't want to be told. I have to spend another five quid to be that's able to right get it. getting a voucher. I think that's fair. That's, you know, that's generally fair. A five pound voucher? Fair yeah. enough. All right. Although your meal did cost, what, six ninety nine, dollars And actually, because the burger, how much was the burger? Five, five The quid. burger on its own is £4.50. Right, but you got the meal. I got it as a meal. Yeah. You know, the five pound does cover that, but it happened to us on his last visit, didn't it? My I didn't complain. Meal. Yes. So it, we wouldn't have got us money back mm. over the two visits. Well, I um, think a voucher is fair, just that their conditions with that isn't on. Yeah, you have yeah. to spend another five quid. So absolutely disgusted, yeah. furious, hate you, McDonald's. <laughs> Are we going to spend that five or soon then, or what? No. You're not? No. You're not going to try it? No, I'm not going in McDonald's again, Mazzy. You're missing out. <laughs> I'll go to Burger King. I'll have a Mazzy McMuffin, that's what I'll have. <laughs> It's taste test time! <laughs> oh, we do like to try these weird and wonderful crisps and things. <laughs> you say crisps because that's practically all we got. <laughs> right, we've got two flavours here Mackie's. Mackie's crisps. Oh, yeah. We've got haggis and cracked pepper. Now, you love pepper? I love pepper, yes. I love haggis. Oh, yeah. So let's give these a try. 
Now you're not a haggis man person, are you? No, but I can't imagine a crisp really tasting like haggis. Smell them. Smell quite um beef. herby. I'd say just be herby beef. Herby beef. <laughs> yeah, you've got some crackers in here. Beef and tomato, if I want to say. Beef. I'm not tasting. Oh. Um, Beef not, and tomato. Not tasting haggis. No, they're not gross. They're lovely. <laughs> mhm. Mm they're a really good beef crisp. The quality of these chips are nice. We had some yesterday, didn't we? Cheese mm. and onion or something. But the cheese and onion were one pound eighty a pack. And these were a pound. These were a pound. Exact same. <laughs> <laughs> On offer though, weren't they? Yeah. And then this is the one which really excited me. I found them and I knew you had to try those. <laughs> same company, yep. Mackey's. But look at the flavour. Lawn sausage and brown sauce. Now none of that I ha I like. Oh. <laughs> but I'll give it a go. I just hope they're different to the haggis because I'd expect this to be like that. I think that is when it comes to any crisps, like fish and chips then. Worcester Strong. sauce. Yeah. It smells like Worcester yeah. sauce flavour. You never really get that true flavour of what they pretend they're meant to be, do you? Again. Oh. These are good quality sort of chips. Do you want like that? Won't I? Try it. <laughs> it tastes like lawn sausage. <laughs> I never thought on earth that I'd ever hate a crisp. <laughs> they smell all right. No, there's something disgusting about that. They're really unusual. They actually taste like a lawn sausage crisp. Is that what they taste like, lawn sausage? It's as if they've rubbed <sighs> the potatoes all over lawn sausages. That is incredible. They smell really nice. Well, I wouldn't say nice, but Worcestershire saucy, didn't Worcestershire they? Worcestershire saucy. No, I, I, uh, Even no. I'm a bit weir weary of them. Yeah, are they're, you? They're too much like the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, the haggis one's beautiful, mm. beautiful. Right, we also got two more things to try, didn't we? Let's try this one. Yeah, we were recommended to get there. Yeah, and this is more a mazzy thing. Scottish Tablet Popcorn. This is the Scottish Tablet brand that I have every day, Tilly's. I like it. <laughs> oh, is it by the same company? Yeah, is that Tilly herself on the back there? Oh, that's Miss Tilly, let's show Miss Tilly. Mrs Tilly, if oh. you don't mind. I don't know if that's going to focus. Uh, they look very nice and they smell beautiful, Mazzy. I'm not a massive popcorn Ooh, person. Oh, smell them. Yeah, it's just popcorn, isn't it? Just toffee popcorn. I'm not tasting... I'm not tasting tablet. Mm. Are you? Mm. Are you? Not On my small. second one, I got a really sweet taste, like tablety taste. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's nice. I'm not tasting tablet. It is different to normal toffee popcorn, Do is that? Do you think? Yeah, I like that. Oh mm. yeah. It's got an aftertaste. Very nice. Very nice. Last but not least, just got these for the sake of it because it's Halloween coming up. Yeah. Co-op, one pound. <laughs> Eight Freaky Frankies Popping Candy Brains. <laughs> All right, so they had loads of like flapjacks and stuff, didn't they? All yeah, different flavours. Yeah. And they look like nice little snacks. Now these look all right. Oh, is that what they look like? Yeah, like... Are they supposed to pop? I don't know. I heard some kind of pop. Mmm. Oh, yeah. A chocolate e rice crispy. It's a uh, toffee crisp sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. But it has got popping candy. It has! Mm. Which mm. doesn't hit you till later on. Yeah, nice. Something different. Mm-hmm. Well, Very chocolatey, isn't they? Mm. I like them. Very nice. Pound, for a pound. For a pound, yeah. Quite a lot in there, for a pound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave this video here. Um, signal is not very good here at all, so we're yes. just hoping we can get this uploaded tonight. That's why the video is ending a bit shorter than it normally We've would We've got to hit us. the road again. Mm. <laughs> and let us know in the comments if there's anything else we should be trying. Oh, food-wise. Food -wise, oh, yeah. yeah, please do. Please <laughs> do. 
So I'm going to get the aerial, the antenna out of the boot now, see if we can get a, a boost on a signal, has it? What, here? So yep. are we staying here then? I think so. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, thank you all for joining mm -hmm. us yet again. We'll catch you all bright and early on his travels tomorrow. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye. We love you. We really do love you. Love y'all. Bye bye. And, ah! <laughs> she thought like we're ending there. Please click like. Please leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> very important to our channel. Please leave comments and likes. It's very important to us. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.